Hello and welcome, Leo, to your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas. And like you are watching Thomas's Tower readings, please like, subscribe, and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Leos, we will look at three different sections um, for the months ahead. Firstly, we will look at your overall energy for the months of February 2023, and then we will look at your emotional core, see what can uh, go and what can come, and then lastly, we will look at opportunities, <laughs> opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of February. So. With no further ado, Leo, let's have a look at the overall energy for the months ahead. And you have the number 41. 4 and 1 is 5, so there's change coming. But you also have the third house, which is communication. So the third house is really about mental abilities to a certain extent. So what that means is communication is the key to whatever is happening in the months of February 2023. It is how you talk, because you have 4 and 1 here, which means 5. It is how you communicate, when you say something, how you say it, that will ultimately also uh, affect the outcome of anything you wish to achieve. So, the point here is, the more nurturing your tone, the easier this gets. So, the, here's logic. So, what that really means is that, um, you know, if anything annoys you, speak up before you raise your voice. Really, really important. Remember, you are Leo. You are the sign that people pay attention to. And therefore, sometimes it's just in the way you carry yourself that you can make a point and put a, a point across. So ultimately, as the only sign that is governed by the sun, um, so you have a, a natural strength that people can just recognize, um, look at how do I come across do people get offended when I speak, or do I not speak up at all? That kind of stuff. And just understand that this month, it is really, really important to focus on what am I saying and how am I saying it. And then next one up here is your um, emotional core. And you have Aries. Obviously, Aries is the depiction of the first sign, and therefore uh, Aries is a doer. Also, Aries is the sign that doesn't have anyone come before it. So the point they're making is, this is not about healing at this point in time. This is all about um, uh, attracting love, making love work, and looking at, at relationships that you might be in uh, and make sure that somehow you bring them to another level because you have act here. And what the guides are saying is whatever it is you want to achieve in your relationships and you want to experience in your relationships, you have to literally go for it. Conversely, if you're not in a relationship and you are, you are in the middle of manifesting it, then manifest it with everything you really wish to experience without being, uh, you know, um, too analytical about it. But you understand that, you know, in order to not attract what you already had before, um, it makes sense if you can't be triggered. Which again, you know, we learn, we learn the most in intimate relationships, so of course this is the area, uh, love is always the area um, where we do learn the most. And if you have had or have been in a relationship that didn't quite work, the next person, no matter how nice they are, is also there to re-trigger or trigger some of the things that you haven't quite learned yet. So point the guides are making is, go for what you want. If you have your eyes <laughs> on someone, say something, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? You can be rejected. Tough luck. The right? point the guides are making is you will be fine because also the Aries being the depiction here, you know, everything in your love life will be a journey and therefore just go on a journey. You will be perfectly fine once you realize that um, procrastination is just not what gets you anywhere. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of February and <laughs> you have a depiction of yourself. <coughs> Leo, you have another five, so five is the number of change. What the guides are saying is, with regards to opportunities, the universe is not just sending you stuff. You have shine here, which again denotes that you are um, governed by the sun, and that therefore you are a bright uh, being. Point is, what the guides are saying is, you can afford to go for things you haven't done before. It is all about, how do I carry myself um, in, in conversations? Again, communication came up earlier. Um, 
you know, sell yourself well uh, and maybe do things you haven't done before. Um, that's the most important thing here. So for opportunities, it's about understanding you cannot wait for opportunities. You have to make them either come to you or just state that you're interested. And remember, you are Leo. You are that sign that when you enter a room, people sense your energy and, and respond to it. So have a high energy. Really, really important. Um, but the most important thing is that you have shine. So with regards to anything that will come your way, the higher your energy, the more confident you come across. The easier will po you will probably be offered opportunities or, or you know, opportunities will come to you that you didn't even see coming. All right? That's all we got. Dear Leos, and remember, if you, uh, should you be unaware, that the full moon in February 2023 is in the sign of Leo, which is always interesting because the moon govern is you know the, the, obviously the moon and the the moon is the the, the, the moon <laughs> is the ruler of the night, and the sun, which is your governing part, is the ruler of the day. So therefore, having these two together, you know. Um, we will talk about it. There is another video, video here that I actually wanted to just highlight. You know, so with regards to the full moon in Leo, there is a full moon reading on this very channel. Just go and find it. Leo, thank you so much. Hopefully see you next month. Bye-bye.